Well, good morning again. Um, thank you, Mrs. Belford and board members for the opportunity to take a few minutes and celebrate uh, some amazing summer opportunities that we were able to provide to our kids and our community over the last few, few weeks. You know that a couple weeks ago, we concluded our summer enrichment as well as our summer academic opportunities for students. But what is uh, rather unprecedented is the number of students that we had engaged and involved and the diverse array of opportunities available for our students. As we survey parents and what their needs were and uh, hopes were for their kids as the summer approached, we realized that there was interest and desire for more than just academic supports, but interest and need for enrichment opportunities and extended opportunities for our kids. So I'm so excited and proud to share that through the prioritization of our federal funds, we were able to fund a very extensive summer academic and enrichment opportunity for our students. So I will inadequately capture everything that took place across our district during the month of June, but I will attempt to give you kind of a uh, exciting snapshot of exactly what our kids experienced. We'll begin with uh, highlighting our 12 elementary schools that hosted the district developed summer program for students in first through fifth grade. Now, keep in mind that historically the state has required reading camp for third grade students. That has been a requirement and, and somewhat of a staple, if you will, across our schools over the last several years. But this summer, we expanded those opportunities for all grade levels, literally elementary through high school. And so uh, we'll capture some of that here in the next few minutes. In these uh, camps, the students were taught in small group settings. And of course, uh, as the board knows, and uh, thrilled to share with our community that not only was the camp provided, but transportation, breakfast, and lunch were provided to our students as well. And you can see that we had over uh, nearly 1,300 students attend academic acceleration camp in first through fifth grade, as well as we had uh, several elementary ESE students participating in the extended school year program. And then across uh, several Title I uh, schools, we had the summer camps as well that were developed, uh, who developed various programs to encourage students to engage with English language arts, math, as well, uh, as, well as hands-on activities in science. Uh, Mila, for instance, hosted a summer safari adventure camp in academics. Over 40 students participated in ELA, English Language Arts, Math, and Hands-On Science activities. Oak Park Elementary uh, hosted an academic SOAR camp where 25 students attended this camp with a focus on reading and math skills. These were all voluntary uh, and were not required. Pinewood Elementary hosted a summer enrichment program for reading and math with 100 students attending across grades first through sixth grade. And we also had Endeavor Elementary uh, hosting a stream camp where uh, each week there was a different science theme. Students experienced hands-on activities along with uh, exposure to the arts, reading, writing, and other academic areas. So here you see some of our kids who participated in the Endeavor, Cambridge, University Park, Oak Park, and Coquina uh, camp opportunities uh, throughout the month of June. Here you see our West Side kids engaging in their summer STEAM program that focused on rising third, fourth, and fifth grade students where they had over 100 students attend and participate in their, uh, their STEAM program. The goal at this program was to help students develop a deeper understanding of both science and math concepts while thinking like a scientist through those hands-on activities. I love the engagement in the top left corner uh, picture where students are using manipulatives to make connections to math concepts. And you look at the bottom left, you would never know that it's summer, quote, break or vacation, as you can just experience the joy on our kids' face as they're 
enjoying the, the uh, athletics as well as the camaraderie of being together. And you, every picture shows that hands-on engagement and involvement of our students with the learning experience that they had. Here we have Sea Park, where they hosted a STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, Makerspace, and Coding Camp. Yes, you heard me correctly. Kids in elementary school working on coding, where we had approximately 40 students participate. And they did everything from read-alouds to a summer reading challenge, and again, those STEM activities that connected kids with learning concepts and how they can be expanded through the use of kinetic sand, croquet, or excuse me, crochet. <laughs> uh, although we could probably connect it to croquet as well, uh, because our teachers are that amazing. Uh, as well as building, ma uh, building with magnets and, and so on. So again, look at the level of engagement of our kids across those different uh, photos. And uh, the top right, if seeing the smile on that little girl's face doesn't make your heart smile, got to check your pulse, got to check your pulse. So uh, great, great experiences going on. And then at Stevenson Elementary School, they hosted an integrated summer music camp um, on a phenomenal music program up there at Stevenson. And we provided students instruments and they engaged as groups and individually in expanding their appreciation and understanding of not only ma uh, music, but math, or excuse me, music theory as well. So super thrilled with the experiences across our many elementary schools that were available to our kids. And we saw the passion and the excitement of teachers bringing some of their own personal areas of love and, and interest and enthusiasm to their specific areas of learning and really opened up the opportunities for uh, teachers to expand their engagement with kids as well. So just so proud of the opportunities we made available to our elementary kids. But that's just the beginning because across our secondary schools as well, you can see we had a very diverse and vast array of opportunities available to our middle and high school students from credit retrieval and grade forgiveness to dual enrollment. You'll see in a moment we had over a thousand students take advantage of dual enrollment access and opportunity. Our driver's education program, folks often don't realize or don't know that driver's education is still available to our students and it has advanced in the opportunities of, available to our students and stayed current with the types of vehicles. I'll give you more in just a minute. But as well as the most uh, vast and diverse array of summer enrichment programs and opportunities that I'll highlight in just a moment. So credit retrieval, great forgiveness. You can see that 25 secondary schools offered these academic program opportunities. Uh, we had nearly 2,000 students or 2,000 completions of a half credit course recovery. Uh, but we also had <clears throat> counselors and social workers and administrators available to engage and interact with our students, continuing to build that bridge and that positive connection to our school environment, helping students work through the setback, perhaps, of needing to be in summer school to do credit recovery and helping them understand why they were there for that purpose and how do we work, move forward, not to have to have that necessity in the future. We also had a very extensive engagement uh, of students involved in Brevard Virtual School from 36 different schools uh, across Brevard Public Schools, Charter, as well as home education students. Uh, over 1,100 different students enrolled in at least one class. And you can see the completions that were accomplished in that short period of time. So proud of the diverse access of opportunity and modes of learning we were able to provide our kids this summer. I highlighted a moment ago the dual enrollment. You can see over 1,400 students participating in a dual enrollment course to earn college credit. Uh, so very diverse uh, access across our district, as well as an impressive uh, completion rate of those courses. Again, counselors were given additional hours for strong support of our students, as some of them had their first experience with a dual enrollment course 
to help them ensure success. And then uh, our driver's education program, we had seven sites, over 350 students participate. And I found it, find it interesting that we now are teaching kids how to operate, utilize electric cars, because they're becoming an increasing a reality of the, the driving uh, vehicles of the future of our kids. So we remain relevant, we remain uh, innovative in providing learning to our students through our driver's education program. Also at the secondary level, we had extended school year opportunities for our students with disabilities, which were identified through their IEP. So over uh, 160 students were served by 30 different teachers, 32 instructional assistants, uh, and re received learning opportunities to help them advance on their IEP goals. A few moments ago, uh, Mrs. Campbell and, and others highlighted the Summer Fine Arts program, I had the privilege and opportunity to see both performances uh, and different types of plays, but equally as impressive. Uh, Sister Act was just fun, uh, just such a fun performance. And the stage set, someone references, not just the performers at the front of the stage, all of the work that goes behind it, our orchestra pit, you don't hardly even see the orchestra down the bottom, but they learn all of that music and coordinate it and choreograph it with the, the actors and the performers, and it is accentuated by the stage crew. Uh, that is so impressive. And Peter Pan at O'Galley High School was equally as impressive. I heard that we were going to have a flying Peter Pan. Oh, of course, that causes my heart to, you know, palpitate a little bit. I'm like, oh my goodness. But uh, I'm like, okay, you know, a scene or two of Peter Pan flying across the stage, we can do it. I was like, oh my goodness, it was not just Peter Pan fly. it was like air acrobatics. Uh, and the uh, lead uh, for Peter Pan just did a phenomenal job, so talented, uh, as well as Captain Hook was uh, quite the personality. And it was so exciting to see our kids enjoying that opportunity. You can see the number of students that we had involved in that uh, those two performances this summer, as well as the teachers and community partners and volunteers as well. And now I, I move into our secondary summer enrichment program where we had uh, 50 different enrichment camps available to our students. Some of them one week, others of them three weeks long. Everything from airbrushing to guitar to drone piloting, swimming, coding, crafting, and the list goes on. And you saw some of the highlights in the news. We had uh, some news outlets highlight some of the programs and opportunities. And so we are so excited that this was made available to our kids across Brevard County. Here you can see summer enrichment by the numbers. Over 1,500 students participated in the programs. Um, 544 students in arts-based programs, 400 in STEM. We had almost 200 students become CPR certified voluntarily. And now they, you, you've highlighted one of our own students who saved the life of an individual in a car accident because of her training in one of our CTE nursing programs. Well, now we've got almost 200 more students out in our community who are prepared and trained to be available in the case of an emergency or, or a crisis. But also had almost 100 kids become certified in drone operation. Uh, that's a growing field of, of interest and popularity. Uh, so excited that our kids could have that opportunity. And, and then, not the least of which, over 350 students who just had opportunity to develop life skill type courses, those guitar courses, um, airbrushing, just enriching their lives and s exploring new uh, experiences to bring them to bring them. Joy in their own personal lives. I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to highlight the ancillary additional supports we provided students this summer. You can see here that our summer food program was busy as well, where we provided over 24,000 breakfast meals, over 100,000 lunches to our kids across our schools as well as opened our doors to students who weren't necessarily in a learning program or an academic enrichment program, but they could come in from the community and access that free lunch across our schools. 
And then all of our programs were provided transportation. You can see that we had thousands of students transported uh, across our different schools, 25 different sites. You know, we take for granted the logistics of what it takes to pick up and drop off kids every day safely. This was not just a, hey, let's just pick up the routes we normally run for different sites. This was a customized routing for student need. We didn't know in January, February, March, perhaps even April, all of the students who were going to participate in the programs. But literally over days, maybe a couple weeks, our transportation department took all of the enrollments of students in our summer programs and they worked through and scheduled and routed the best way and efficient way to pick up our kids across Brevard County. So I can't uh, do a great enough shout out to our transportation team, our drivers who were flexible and malleable to, okay, what is the route today? It might be a different route tomorrow. And well, next week's route's going to be different because it's a totally different camp. And they were receptive and responsive and so helpful, not the least of which our routers did a great job of being uh, responsive and our supervisors in ensuring that our kids uh, were, were picked up and dropped off safely and consistently this summer. 